Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, okay, um, I have put up a video on CCXT for cryptocurrency trading robots. A lot of people have been asking uh, about CCXT. You can do a search easily on my channel at quantlabs. Do a search on CCXT, cryptocurrency uh, exchange, something or other. Anyways, uh, hopefully you're, you, you have some idea how to use Python. Um, so you can always do these searches. It's all in line with Gecko and whatnot. Still pretty hot topic. So today I'm going to show you how to install this. There's quite a few comments on it. First thing you got to do is go to this thing called Google. Do a search on GitHub for programmers. We'll know about it. GitHub CCXT. Okay. This will take you to the uh, repository for CCXT. It is a cryptocurrency trading library with support for over 100 Bitcoin altcoin exchanges. Hopefully you've seen some other videos on that. And here is the uh, library or the repository for this stuff. Um, if you need to really understand how to set it up, you can either read this setup.py. Here's a blurb on setup and all the exchanges. So it's very simple, um, if you know Python, that is. So uh, we want, yeah, we want Python. So we're not using JavaScript and we're not using PHP. There you go. That's how you install it. Okay, let's go to our terminal. Uh, I'm on obviously Mac. You can do this on Linux, Windows. Well, <laughs> you've probably heard me rant on about Windows. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it at that. Because, of course, other people complain about my Microsoft um, stance. Oh, well. Uh, so, first, we have what version of Python? We're using Python 3, Python 3.64. You can always find out how to install Python. I think just go to python.org uh, for your operating system. Download Python. Uh, I'm on. This will default to your operating system. It'll give you instructions how to install it. Get it installed on your Windows, Linux, Mac, other. Pretty well runs on anything. And the other thing you will need is pip. So if you just go pip, in my case, we're running pip3. Uh, using to uh, pip3 to install Python 3 modules. So there's lots of, lots of uh, help on there uh, on via Google, that thing called Google. So in my case, we're using pip. Uh, so showing you the Python interp Python interpreter 3.64. So if you are interested in installing it, just go pip3 install ccxt. And that's it. Hooray. All right. So once you get that installed, might be an upgrade. Um, oh, there you go. Boom, 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 boom. It's collecting everything that it needs, all the dependencies and we just, in the meantime, go to one of the examples. Okay, so uh, I'll do a test. Do that, I guess, once it's complete. Okay, so it's still downloading everything that it needs. It's, got, it's quite big. Uh, it is talking to over 100 different, um, uh, 100 different, um, what do you call them, uh, packages. So here we are in Python. Uh, so I do have a subdirectory with everything installed. Um, so let me just go into the Python directory. Oops, docs, documents, Python, and then ccxt. Let's just go into the examples. Is there? No, so we can just go hopefully into test. Hmm. Examples. Okay, so we are now in the examples. We want Python, and we'll just try out one of these. Um, no idea which one will work. Um, we we'll just try that one. So we'll go Python three exchanges. You know, probably, here you go. So these are all the exchanges that can talk to. So this is installed, it is working, 114 exchanges available. I've shown you multiple um, 
uh, multiple instances of uh, using CCXT. But if you are wanting to learn with Python, just go into the test here. And I'm sure you may be able to get some examples um, throughout the repository. So hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.